Welcome to All Things Mac. I'm your host, Jim Fair. Today I'd like to show you how to reinstall Mac OS without an external installer disk. So on a newer Mac, uh, we hold down three keys while, while starting up. Option, Command, R, or Shift, Option, Command, R. So Option, Command, R is going to give us the latest and greatest OS, and Shift, Option, Command, R is going to give us whatever the oldest OS our Mac supports or whatever it came with that was uh, an older OS. And you don't have a choice of what these versions are. So for example, on the 2013 Mac Pro on my desk here at work, I have a choice of Mojave with Option Command R or El Capitan with Shift Option Command R. If I want Sierra or High Sierra, the OSs that came out in between those two versions, so you know Sierra was next and then High Sierra, I still have to go and create an installer disk and uh, I have another video on how to do that so you can check that video out. Why would you want to reinstall the OS? Well it could be a number of reasons. It could be you have a problem with a new OS and you want to go down a version uh, because something stopped working or your OS, your OS blew up and you're tired of the new and want to go back to old reliable. That's always a possibility. So, or perhaps your machine won't even start up and you want to solve that problem. So when you're installing the OS, there's two types of installs. We call them clean install or a dirty install. So clean install, you're wiping the device and putting a fresh OS on a blank device. Dirty install, you're just installing a fresh OS over old OS. Now, dirty install only works if you're doing the same version that's there, so Mojave to Mojave, or if you're stepping up. So if your existing OS is Sierra, and you're stepping up to High Sierra or Mojave, uh, you can do a dirty install that way. It'll save all your data, it'll replace all the OS files it needs to replace, and uh, you know hopefully solve any problem that you have. But for many people, uh, downgrading is the reason they're doing this. And you have to keep in mind uh, issues with your time machine backup will prevent time machine from restoring your data. So you'll have to manually drag and drop your data uh, when you're downgrading. Okay. So um, pros and cons of this method. So pro, uh, you don't need any pre-work. You can just option command R and go for it uh, other than backup. Of course you need a backup before you do anything here. You're going to erase your whole machine, so any data there will disappear. Other uh, cons to this method, well, uh, you require the internet, right? So uh, if you're, say, in an institution and uh, you have enterprise Wi-Fi, well, you're not going to be able to do that over the Wi-Fi. You need to plug into Ethernet that it doesn't require authentication when you plug in to get on the network. So for the enterprise, if you're in school, for example, an institution, uh, you're not going to be able to do this over the Wi-Fi. Uh, you also need to have your machine plugged in the whole time. Uh, the Mac, uh, later Macs will insist upon this. Older Macs will probably let you go for it even though you're unplugged, and that's always a dangerous thing to do if your battery is close to being toast. Obviously, if you need Ethernet, you're going to need an Ethernet adapter if you have a new Mac that requires an adapter, right? And an Ethernet patch cable to plug in. That's, those are obvious requirements. For Wi-Fi at home, uh, you know, WPA or WPA2 personal security Wi-Fi, that works just fine. Uh, you just need to plug in the Wi-Fi password if the computer doesn't know it already. So without further ado, let's give you a demo of this in action. So how do we reinstall the OS with Apple Internet Recovery? To begin, we hold down Shift Option Command R while booting. Until we see the progress bar, then we can let go. So there it goes, we can let go. You saw that little flash, it said Internet Recovery. And we'll use our terminal trick to get rid of APFS. Now, please take note, this trick does not work in the El Capitan version of this. 
So disk util APFS list gives us a list of APFS volumes. We highlight the container's name and we go to the edit menu and select copy or command C. We hit the up arrow to retrieve the last terminal command, delete the word list, put in delete container with small d, capital C, hit the space, and we paste in the name. Hit return, and voila, it's going to remove APFS from the drive, put it back to HFS plus. So. Okay, so that's done. We can quit out a terminal. And we're going to run disk utility again. So this time, it's no longer an APFS volume. We can just erase it, put in whatever name we want to put in here, and click Erase. If only I could type. <laughs> click Erase. And now we're ready to install the OS. Command Q out of there. You see how it's a Mac OS extended journaled. So it's ready to roll for Mac OS. Sierra. So we're going to double click the Sierra installer, go through the usual uh, agree to the license, continue. Here comes the license agreement. We agree, we agree. Select the volume to install, and we're off to the races.